All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are today doing something once again a little bit different, a little bit unusual. There hasn't been a very consistent cadence of live streams lately. It's just kind of been what I feel like doing. And today I felt like playing some Animal Crossing Happy Home Desire. Uh, desi desire. <laughs> it won't be. There's nothing desirable about what we're going to be building today in Happy Home Designer. Uh, this was Nintendo's like first stab at a spin-off game uh, that eventually ended up becoming DLC uh, with Happy Home Paradise in New Horizons. And this was one I got way later on, like way after I was done playing New Leaf. I did pick this game up probably after it was hyped up, and I barely played it. I really, I've played it, but really, truly barely. I think I unlocked the school building and then never kept up with it. But I really enjoyed Happy Home Paradise, and I keep meaning to, like, come back and revisit this game. So I thought, well, I got nothing going on today. Why not today? How about we just jump in right now? So welcome, everybody. Um, thank you for being here. Uh, we are just on YouTube today. We have been testing out some Twitch streams. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is this is what we are doing today just on YouTube. Uh, insured or injured sick buy my gosh darn insurance please <laughs> yeah we get we got lottie we get digby we get nook we get lyle like uh half the characters on screen right now are not really in new horizons unfortunately which is a shame yeah digby's the best um so cool we're gonna we're just gonna start a brand new game here and uh we'll jump into it i love how they'll scatter the the vibe in this game is a bit different. The music's different. The uh, you know just some of the <laughs> sound effects, animations. Today is the day our new employee arrives. Yes, yes. The new addition should be here any moment, so I shall use this time to double check the hiring forms. Hmm, now, where have those hiring forms gotten themselves off to? I'm certain they were right here. Pardon me, Lottie. Perhaps you know. Do you remember the new hire's name? You don't remember. Please, Mr. Nook, try to keep it together. If I recall correctly, the name was... Okay, fair enough. Um, we'll just go with the classic here. That's it, I'm sure of it. The new hire's name is Dan. Uh, I just said wrong. Well, if it was wrong, why don't you try, why don't you try to remember it? <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. There we go. That's it, I'm sure of it. The new hire's name is Dan. Yes. Honestly, Mr. Nook, you really need to keep better track of these things. I certainly blanked out on the name for a moment, and it's such a nice name, too. I can I can see why Tom Nook wasn't allowed to help out with Paradise Planning when New Horizons <laughs> era came around. A rare moment of forgetfulness, forgive me, I'm sure it won't happen again. Now, from what I recall, this new employee happens to be... Sure, a boy. Uh, but I'm certain... But I'm certain he's a boy. Yes... All right. Now, if only I could remember what he looks like. Get some character customization here. Um, what do I normally go with? They haven't changed the eyes in Animal Crossing in, like, ever. It's always kind of been similar options. I guess we could do that. We'll make them dark blue. Skin tone seems fine. I, I don't really get out much. Um... Hairstyle. This is what New Leaf needed. I usually go with this one. Um, but we can see, like, there's this one. <laughs> Which is um, something. Let's go with this one. Oh, I guess brown's fine. Hold on. Go back. Uh, I just wanted to see. That's probably closer. Yeah, I think that's probably closer. I think character customization in video games should be that simple. I, I always laugh when a game comes out and there's this like incredibly well-designed character customizer like, I don't need any of this. Ah, <laughs> uh, good morning, Dan. Welcome to Nook's Homes. Come in, allow me to introduce you to everyone. Yes, yes. 
This is Dan. Starting today, he'll be working with us here at Nook Homes. Perhaps I should give you a quick introduction to each of your new colleagues. This fellow here is Lyle. Bang, nice to meet you. Lyle is something of a veteran in the office. He's been here almost as long as I have. In fact, he's so good at what he does, I don't even quite understand what he's doing most of the time. I'm kidding, of course, I know everything. I know how everything works. Now then, this is our dog about town, Digby. Nice to meet you. My name's Digby. It's a real pleasure to have you working here with us. I hope you'll, we'll get a chance to work together on a project really soon. Digby is certainly one of the most enthusiastic employees we've gathered. Finally, let me introduce you to Lottie. Oh, hi there. Lottie is an exceptional employee and a consummate professional. She's also an expert in home design. Lottie will be handling your training as well, so pay attention to the follow and follow her advice. As you all know, I'm a very busy raccoon, so that wraps up today's meeting. Lottie is all yours. Goodbye, my obedient employees. See, this is this was like the end of Tom Nook's evil arc right here. That boss of ours, he likes to complain about his busy schedule, even though we all know he's rushing off to make his tea time. Well, enough about golf. Let's get you settled in. We're all so glad you joined the company. I'm sure you can't wait to hear about the work you'll be doing at Nook Homes, so let's get to it. Start when you do a simple interior remodel on a client's home. You'll pick out wallpaper, carpet, and some furniture. Basically, you're going to give the room a complete makeover. There's a practice room all ready for you. I'll come along and teach you the basics. Before we get started, you should take this. Change room upstairs, so head on up and change your official uniform. All right. Yes, hello everyone, if you're just joining us, you've missed nothing. <laughs> Great. I didn't even get to, like, pick any other part of my outfit. So we can sit down and, I guess, change our hair. Can we use this? Don't know how to use this. There's a 3DS here. Wait a minute. It looks like someone's in the middle of playing. Let's leave for the moment. I wonder if you can do anything with that. Playing lots of newly for online shutdown uh, on the 3DS. I think that's why I was feeling this. I, I just I feel so bad about what's happening with Nintendo and, and how they're just once again shutting down an online server, uh, a set of servers that absolutely do not need to be shut down, in my opinion. I, I don't know what their budgets are. I don't know what they got going on, but I have to imagine they could probably scale it back rather than just shutting the whole thing down. So yes, I would like to en enjoy some things too. I'm not really looking to do any multiplayer stuff, but it just is a shame for everyone that wants that. Mr. Nook likes to see his employees wear the company uniform, so make sure you wear it tomorrow too. Of course, you can accessorize your uniform however you'd like. Use the change room for that. I ready to learn about interior design. Great, let's go. All right, your training is officially underway. By the way, this is a real home we're working on, so take good care of the place. The client who lives here is a girl who's a fan of all things cute. She's requested a room with a lovely atmosphere, so let's turn this empty space into something lovely, shall we? First, let's see what's inside that cardboard box over there. To open it, just tap the rectangular block on the touchscreen. You can just walk up to it as well. That lovely love seat is actually one of the client's most prized possessions you'll find clients often have pieces they're re uh, really attached to they love it when you incorporate their pieces into your design so be sure to do so of course you can't just plop furniture down in any old way and expect that to work let me explain how to change a piece of change a piece of furniture's orientation to do that tap on the block on the touch screen like you did before go ahead and give it a try so we can tap on it or i imagine we could do this just like in other animal crossing games This is also the first time Animal Crossing introduced being able to uh, build with like half, like the basically half tiles instead of full tiles. I don't think New Leaf let you do half tiles um, at all. So it's pretty cool. Oh, they literally want me to tap it on the screen. Okay. Let's talk about how to move things. It's a cinch. Just drag the block on the touchscreen wherever you want to place it. Time for your first big decision where you're going to put the lovely love seat.
Put it there for now. I know how to place an orient furniture like a pro, which of course you are, but this room is going to need more than a single love seat before we call it done. Tap on the leaf icon to open the furniture catalog. Find a piece of furniture you like, tap to select. Okay. Um, there's not a lot of options. Okay. <laughs> and that's how you choose furniture to suit your client's taste, but the furniture isn't the only tool in the home designer's toolkit. Wall decorations are also important. Explore your options with the wall icon. All right. So many options. <laughs> uh, here. A bold choice. I like it. It's amazing for me to see how different designers have such different senses of style. I had so many options to choose from. I almost forgot about the wallpaper and flooring. Those are two crucial elements of home design. Open the wallpaper and floor catalog. Choose something you like. Let's make your choice. Press B or tap the back button. Okay. Wait, what did I want me to do? I didn't pay enough attention. Oh, um... These are all just awful. Um, but I guess that's fine. You see how you can change the room's atmosphere by changing the walls and floor? Now let's place a rug to complete the room's design. I didn't know this game had rugs. Oh, look at that. They have sizes built in. Uh, medium. Why don't you go ahead and t place the furniture you like? Feel free to take another look at your client's requests. If you want to get rid of furniture, you already place to drag that into the trash can. There's one more thing. You can use the D-pad to change your point of view and look around the room. So we can easily look around the room. It's pretty smooth. It's kind of nice. Um, okay, we can... We can move the rug in the middle. Or should we move it, like, back here? Take the bed. Put it here. Okay. What other options do we have back? I guess we could put down a little coffee table. That looks not very much like a coffee table to me. It's like a park bench. Okay. And then, so they said to drag something we don't want into the trash can. Got it. Um, okay. Uh huh. This seems fine. I wish I could extend the room. I can't even see the clock. Okay. And they said you can see their requests. Mm. Are these all there? Oh, here's here's everything. That's interesting. Um. Pop down a vanity. I kind of wish the furniture tab would like stay open when I clicked on things. That'd be nice. Well, we got to put a toilet. And maybe a shower. And. That's one thing that's nice about this game. You can kind of do what you want as long as you, like, stick to a very basic set of rules. Toilet right by the bed. I was thinking, actually, it'd be the, for this vanity. So you'd have the vanity here. and But there's nowhere to sit. But, like, you're, you're doing your morning routine, right? So you can kill two birds. And then, in the spirit of killing two birds, we can actually take the shower and put it back here. Because... What's the first thing a lot of people do in the morning? It's take a shower, right? 
Some people before bed, but either way, this kind of covers you with water. So I think that works. I think that's good. Yeah, I think this is a good house. Are you done already? All done. Shower before toilet, you have it backwards. It seems you've done a fairly decent job. Let's take a closer look. Are you feeling sad for the clients? Um, uh, It's all about efficiency around here. How's the volume? This is this is gorgeous. <laughs> I think it's perfect. Kind of loud. It looked kind of loud. Let me know if that's better. Can't believe I get to live in such a lovely Oh no, it's Lottie's house. Oh no. I forget to mention this is actually my house. I just bought the place, but work has kept me so busy I haven't had time to decorate. To tell you the truth, I've been cuddling up in a sleeping bag on the bare floor. Ridiculous, right? It looks like a little with a little help promising new designer, it was just what I needed. If you were a design expert and you wanted people to come to your business, because of your design expertise, would you not want to decorate your own room and make it kind of like a, a model of a model home and like a, a showcase of everything you're capable of? Why would you let a novice come in and put a toilet as your as your vanity bench and a shower right over your head while you're trying to sleep? Now it's quiet and you are loud. Okay, my volume should be the same as it always is. I'd rather me be hearable than the game be overpowering. I can split the difference a little bit. I raised it a, a, a little bit. Um. Okay, but you can be up front with me. You didn't. If you didn't love the job, uh, I'm gonna tell Lottie it's not my thing. What? That's so cute. You have first day jitters. Everyone gets nervous in their first day. She asked me if I like the job. And I'm like, I don't really think so. And she's like, oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm pretty good at spotting talent. I think you have talent coming out of your ears. It's a perfect world. In a perfect world, I'd have a few more months to train you properly, but I can't hold you back forever. We have a client scheduled to come. Uh, client scheduled to come tomorrow. To talk about interior remodel request. I'm going to let you take that as your first customer job. Got such a big day tomorrow. You can head home. You got to write your daily report. Let me show you. Your desk is right over there. Okay. Your desk and chair are back here on the left, so take a seat and write your daily report. You need to write a report every day when you're finished with work. It's the little details that keep Nook home running. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is how you save your game. Sit down at your desk to write up your daily report and save the day's work. Business hours are over, but you can keep playing or working. After saving, select continue to move on to the next day's work or quit to stop playing. Or can I just, like, bail? Congratulations on completing your training. Did I correctly overhear what Lottie was saying? You officially start work tomorrow. That's quite an accomplishment. I wish you luck. Whoa, hold up there. If you finished your work for the day, you've got to sit down at your desk and write a daily report. Well, I'm literally held hostage. I am trapped. Do you get your own home in this game? To send gameplay data to Nintendo. You may choose to share information about your gameplay with Nintendo. Uh, I don't think they can accept that anymore. Um, so, no. Continue with the game. Yes. Why would you let me do all these bad decisions? I've never once made a bad decision in home design. Looks like we've got ourselves a customer. Sorry to keep you waiting, Goldie. 
This is the designer who will be in charge of your interior remodel. Take a seat, Dan. Now you uh, just have to ask what client they're looking, uh, what the client's looking for. Dylan, how's it going? Okay, my name's Goldie. To tell you the truth, I hadn't really considered relocating to a new town until a little while ago. Uh, it was the amazing houses I saw advertised in your flyer that got me thinking about. <laughs> got me thinking about it. Yeah. So uh, I know you can like take a shower as you're waking up in the morning, and that that really appealed to me. One thing in particular really caught my eye. There was a bit about how this new town been planning hadn't even been built yet. That's just what I like. I'm all about quiet days on the countryside. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. If you're moving to a new town that hasn't been built yet, you're not going to get quiet countryside. You're going to get loud construction in the distance every single day. You're going to get, you know, construction equipment with, with the trucks backing up. You're going to get nail guns. You're going to get clanging on metal. And you're going to get construction workers falling off buildings and screaming. You're going to get all kinds of ridiculous noise. You're not going to get quiet days in the countryside. That's not how this works. That's why I took the plunge and bought a little house of my own right here. Yeah, good luck. Since you only just bought it, it's rather bare. Could really use an interior remodel. That's why I'm here. I thought it'd be wise to consult with some professionals. Tiny place, really, so it need, doesn't need much, but I'm really into reading. So I'd love it to be surrounded by books in my new home. Ideally, I'd love something like this. Is that possible? A forest of books. Leave it to me, or let's get started are my options. I'm so glad to hear you say that. All right. You want a forest of books? Well, you've asked for it. You're right, my family member living in a new street house filled with construction. Thought about using some professionals, but then I saw you and I'm going with you now. <laughs> Classy is going. Uh the trees show their density? Let the trees show their density. Yes. Can we see how it looks? Um I trust your judgment. <laughs> you have no choice. This is exactly what I wanted. Okay. I wonder if there's a button to quickly copy things. If you rotate this, it's the same on both sides. It's a little disappointing. Record player is huge. Um, okay. Well. We have these new bookshelves. Hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, let's make sure we get some of these in here. Um, I want to make sure we have enough. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. I just want to make sure there's enough bookshelves. Mm hmm I just want to make sure there's enough. I want to make sure we have enough bookshelves everywhere. Um, mm hmm yep. Uh... I think that's enough. Okay, great. Huh. It's really hard to move things for some reason. Uh, hang on. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Hmm, uh-huh. I might have put too many bookshelves. Maybe. It's hard to it's hard to say. Hmm. Well, hold on, hang on. 
Oh, she didn't like me throwing that bookshelf away. Okay. Chair? You want to... Okay, we need a chair. All right. Um, What looks unpleasant? These are all my chairs. How about this wooden stool with no back support? And we kind of put it here by the window where the sun can just kind of like beat on you while you're trying to read books. A small bed. There's no room for a bed, guys. This is supposed to be a forest of books. Did you not read the prompt? It was pretty clear. I'm not going to ruin the design by adding something Goldie isn't going to even like or appreciate. Here, there's some books. Can I put these up here? No. All right. I'll put them on the I'll put them on the chair. No, it won't let me do that either. That's a shame. Okay, well they'll just be there. Anything we can put on the walls? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's nice. We got wall plants. We can we can add a, a wooden block clock. Uh-huh. Oh, we got some some music albums. Okay. This is great. Wait, that's the clock. What is the clock doing here? That's not what I wanted. I want the clock. I guess this is the... That's the album. What's going on here? I'm I'm making Goldie a house. Rugs, you're right. You're right. We forgot about rugs. What about this? Let's do a large rug. Which covers the entire wooden floor. It looks really, not, really good, actually. And then what about wallpaper? <gasps> the illusion of more books in a cave for some reason. It's perfect. All right. Hey, Goldie. Are you all done? Yep. She wanted a forest of books. It was very clear. That's what, see? Watch. Forest of Books, Ocean of Knowledge. It's exactly what she asked for. Yeah, it's literally perfect. Listen to the music. It, oh my gosh, it's brilliant. Can't even see her? She's right in there. You can... She's right in there. Don't worry. She's just looking for books. It's too many choices. That's all. Look, you guys are panicking. This... See, we're gonna get a glimpse of her right here. Right through the... Through the... Oh, see? There, she's enjoying some music. Yeah, I... Look look at the little dancing. This is perfect. Runs in my city's library. <laughs> Everything looks wonderful. Thank you so much for all of your hard work. We've unlocked an emote. How will she sleep? On the stool? Yeah, you just kind of stack up books, and like the stool could be used like in the middle as like back support. She's a dog; she can sleep on the floor. Uh, how did it go? Did Goldie love what you did to the place? She said she loved it. That's fantastic. I wasn't sure what to expect. This being your first job and all, just don't go checking on it. Uh, but it sounds like everything went well. I'm going to visit Goldie tomorrow. Uh, no, no. <laughs> 
Was there anything else I was supposed to teach you? Oh, that's right. Emotions. Yep, just like those emotions I was emoting, like joy. Per personally, I experience a wide range of emotions when I'm de done dealing with clients. Joy, sadness, anger. You can express your feelings by using the mo emoticon button. Um, before you do that, you should sit down at your desk and write your daily report. We can only handle one client per day. Great job out there today, blah, blah, blah. Okay. She hasn't filed a lawsuit yet. She will not let me explore the town. Like, I'm just trapped in here, perpetually working and filling out reports. You are not allowed to go outside, no matter what. This game is brutal. Yeah, I guess continue with the game. Uh, do I have a choice? All right. I've got a little something to give you today here. That's our client list. It records information on all the customers we've ever worked for. Goldie's details are in there now since you did that job for her yesterday. Look over it later. Okay, speaking of Goldie, she called earlier and said thanks. She was happy and that makes me happy. Hmm, we don't have any client meetings scheduled today, so it's pretty quiet around here now. Why don't you go swing by Goldie's house to see how she's doing? Understood. There's just books everywhere. You can't get over to Goldie's place. You can't get... You can get over to Goldie's place in a GIF. Just use the client list I gave you. Okay. So that's here. So we can see... Okay. It shows up. Oh, look! <laughs> it even puts a picture for us. Oh, hi there. It's nice to see you. Thanks again for all of your help yesterday. I had an amazing first day with my new home. I hope I'm not opposing, but can you please help me with one more thing? I really want to have a photo of this lovely room so I can share it with my friends. Can you hold down L and then press R to take a photo, please? Do you happen to have any Animal Crossing Mebo cards? I do. Yay. You can use them to invite over all kinds of folks to visit. To get started, just tap on the card on the screen. Uh, but you don't have to do that right now if you don't want to. It's fine. Do whatever you want. There's no rush or anything. Please just relax and enjoy your visit. Okay. Drop in on your clients anytime to check up on them. You can change their clothes, play dress up, and you can also invite your favorite clients using Amiibo cards. Don't forget to take a photo as a memento of your visit. Press R while holding L to snap a picture of the scene. Photos taken to be viewed in the 3DS camera. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, Miiverse. Okay, okay, okay. So, all right, if I hold down... Oh, that's it, huh? So, should I just take a picture of, like... I need to get a good one. How about this? That's exactly, that's it. That's the picture. Okay, bye. <gasps> We're outside. We made it. Okay, so that's to go to clients' houses. Here's the town. What's this? I guess that's it. <laughs> huh. So that means there's one, two, three, potentially four buildings we have to, like, I guess, unlock and edit as time goes on. It expands later. Oh. How'd it go? I mean, it's one thing to meet with a client, it's another to visit her room, uh, her in the room you designed. In this profession, it's important to take lots of job requests to build relationships. Okay. Mayday, mayday. Where's the fire, Uncle Lyle? 
It's that client from earlier, the one who ran away from old Lyles, just standing outside the office. Why would a client run away and then come back? Maybe they were looking for more information. Maybe Lottie, maybe just be, may just be, the client is standing out front and looking for her home design info. Last time old Lyle tried to make a pitch, client got, the client just scampered off. Yeah, well, they probably got, you know, a bit sussed out. Uh, you do have a tendency to make a questionable first impression, don't you? I've got an idea. This is the perfect time for you to step in, Dan. Go out, go out front and chat the client. If you land a job, you can take it on yourself. All right, let me get my charisma out here and see what I can do. I know you. Yeah, it's you from Nook's Homes, right? Yay. My home's interior could use a bit of redecorating. I think the official term is an interior remodel. Is that something you can help out with? This is easy. Making sales is easy. Makes me want to dig up my 3DS. Do it! I've been going through all my old 3DS games. I have a small stack of them here. Some well, One of these is a DS game, but... Count on you to spruce this place up. Make sure to send my favorite things. I made sure to send my favorite things along for you to use while decorating. Okay. What? Oh, I like this item. How come we don't have this in New Horizons? Look at this thing. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine what people would make if they just had glass walls like this? Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. How do I get more of these? Hang on. Everyone just hold up for a second. Can I move? I can move the character. Perfect. Oh my gosh. This is too much power. Everyone just hold on. Where do they keep that stuff? Aha! Okay. This is incredible. Absolutely the best item in Animal Crossing. Let's put, uh... Put you in your natural habitat here with your favorite things. Oh, you think albums on the wall? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. See? This is, this is exactly what they wanted, I think. That's a keeper. Why would you trap Lopez in a glass cage? Um, 
because he wanted to be in the room with his favorite things. And one of his favorite things are these glass walls. I think this is done. Are you going somewhere? But we haven't finished yet. Oh, gosh. Wait a minute. Oh, I just got to put me in there with him. That's probably what I need to do. Um, Lopez here and then me here. Yes. You get a chance to finish. Yup. A stylish space. <laughs> Look how proud he is. Lopez is thrilled. What? How do you get out? Ah, that's no fun. They're supposed to stay where I put them. I want the glass partitions in uh, New Horizons. It's perfect. This makes me so happy. Thank you from the bottom of my love-filled heart. Asking you to help was a genius step on my part. Remember to come and visit me. Oh, <laughs> lots of people will be coming to visit Lopez. That's what the chairs are for. Aggravation. You forgot the secret tunnels? I loved watching you woo that potential client. Uncle Lyle, I mean, just plain Lyle was really impressed. He said you were a smooth operator out there. What do you think? Were you able to hook a new customer on your first try? Absolutely. And they won't be going anywhere. That's what I like to hear. With that go get them attitude, we'll have clients beating down our doors. Development of our new town has been slow lately. Maybe this is what we need to get going again. But for right now, we need to focus on getting more clients. We don't have any meetings lined up for tomorrow, so you can go out front and wrangle some clients. What a day. It's already late. Just write your report and how for the night. I wonder why you learned that emotion. <laughs> Everyone sleeps in the office. And apparently they shower in the river. That's why I was coming in the door. I was I slept in the office and then I needed a shower, so I went and took a dip in the river. There's nothing on the books for today, so get out there and drum up some business. If you want a job, you have to go find yourself some customers. Common sense, really. All right. Off you go. Make me proud. I guess Lyle is Lottie's uncle. I want some Rococo furniture to turn my home into a gothic hangout. Blue is the best. I want to surround myself with blue furniture in a blue room. Blue his house. Okay. Yeah, that works. You're from Nook Homes, right? I could really use your help with an interior model, and by help, I mean you do all the work. I, can I change my outfit? I didn't really have a lot of choices. I'm glad you're the one who'll be doing all the heavy lifting. Don't forget to use all the stuff I brought. Okay. Blue stuff. All right, that's blue. We already have a table. 
put another chair. Let's let's assume Jeremiah has a friend. And a bench. This bookshelf thing. I'm just kind of doing exactly what he wants me to do. Uh, that's rugs. Um, you know, this is technically kind of blue, but then there's also this. I guess that's fine. And then floor. Yeah, I think. This is very blue. Ooh, I like these. Wait a minute. Go back. Um, these are cool. This is blue. All right. Kind of move some stuff where it should go. Look how you can rotate the rugs. <laughs> to what end? Uh, I guess we can move the bed here. And then the bench under the window. It's just, just everything against the walls. <laughs> Watch out for the most boring space in the world. What if we move this here? The chairs here. The bench at the table. Oops. Just another form of seating there. And then this in the corner. No. This. So crowded in here. Uh, what else? Do we have like a plant of some kind? What is this? What is this thing? Okay. Creepy Victorian doll in glass case is going in the middle of the room. There are a lot of clothing uh, items in this game. Here we go. I was just looking for something like this. Looks like this can go on top of the table too, but I'm gonna put it, actually let's put it like here. The glass case is so she can't kill anyone. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Oh, this is nice. I was looking for a taller plant of some kind. I don't know if there is one. That is blue, I mean. I guess it doesn't matter. We could just do this. That's fine. The glass partition. <laughs> uh... Hmm. I don't know what category is that in. Oh, it's lamps for some reason. I think that works. Albums or lights? I mean, I have an album. I have an album there. Lights you want? Uh, 
I guess there's this. Yeah, that's fine. This is a very normal house apart from the glass panel. It's to keep everything pristine. Yep, all done. I've been watching your old played up videos and doing so I was finally able to make it to OT solo. Congrats! That's always a good feeling. That first time getting to overtime is not easy, but yeah, once you do, it's like, oh, I finally found a strategy that like works. So I'm glad you're enjoying it. Played up is awesome. It's one of my favorites. All well, class is a lamp, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's turned around and just realized he's trapped. He's trapped behind that bench, I think. <laughs> just sitting on his bed, <laughs> waiting for the end. He's so bored. Jeremiah is too good for this world. That's why I had to keep him in this box. I could eat this room up with a spoon, literally with a spoon. It's that good. All right, he seems happy. <laughs> mistaken. I've learned mistaken. Another great job today. Speaking of great things, I got a call from the boss, Mr. Nook. Be here tomorrow to greet clients. You haven't seen him since your first day. He's looking forward to rubbing elbows with you again. Time to call it a night. Go and write your daily report. <laughs> Jeremiah died later that day while trying to eat his rug. Poor Jeremiah. I don't think he deserved that. Any of it. Isabel's here, too. Nice timing. The boss is here with an important client. Why don't you introduce yourself? Your arrival it means everyone's here. This is Isabel from the town hall. She is supporting our community's new town development procedures. Isabel, this is our newest employee, Dan. While he's relatively new to the designing game, he will not disappoint you. All right. Truth be told, while I'm listed as your support on these projects, I probably need your support more. Anyway, since the town hall is open, since the town hall has opened funds for a new facility, I wanted to let Nook Homes know. That's wonderful news. This means we can start the project right away. Thank you for letting us know. I should be thanking you since it was your team all along doing the hardest work. In any case, I thought I'd pass along a brief update. All right, cool. I think that means we can build out one of the buildings outside to give you no problem helping in the morning leave it to me be sure to remain on your best and most professional behavior when you meet with Isabel tomorrow with that it's time for me to head home <laughs> like I have to stand aside So can we change our clothes? Let's see. There is a changing room. It'd be weird just to have it for that one opening cutscene. You can access the changing room and change the clothes and accessories other than your uniform. So yeah, we do have we do have some options here. 
What else? <laughs> okay. A monocle. So we have to wear the shirt no matter what it looks like. But we can definitely class up the rest of our outfit. I do wish I had a top hat, but we'll hopefully collect one, you know, later on. Yeah. Does this do anything yet? No mercy, huh? Mr. Nook is a tough boss, but a fair one. His employees are very important to him. He'd never give them a job they couldn't handle. Of course, if he gives you a big job, he expects you to get it done. And get it done well. But before any of that happens, you should head outside and jump some new business. So far, the gameplay loop is pretty similar to uh, Happy Home Paradise, of course. Robo House. I can't not do Robo House. A house says a lot about a guy. Can't wait to see what you... Can't wait to see you beef it up a bit today. Ribot is awesome. <laughs> the old school robo furniture is so cool. It's such a classic set of furniture. Um, okay. Oh. Do you see that? We can actually grab a bunch of stuff at once. I think I'll go with the more sci-fi looking wall, yeah. It doesn't feel like an overwhelming amount of furniture the way this is laid out. Like I'm assuming all these little blank spots are for future furniture pieces. And it's easy to find stuff too. It just as new. Is there a robo couch? Yes. It has little hands. That is that is very creepy. Um, Alright, lamp here for now. Uh, couch in front of the TV. TV against the wall here. Couch watching TV. It has eyes. I think the couch is literally watching the TV. Uh, we also have this <laughs> robot wardrobe, I guess. We'll put it in front of the window. This is a very silly furniture set here. Dresser. I like. We can't put anything. Oops. We can't put anything on top of any of this furniture because of the stupid robot faces on it. <laughs> oh, I still, I still love it, but. Ooh, we got a little stereo here. If only we had a robo table to put it on that didn't have a face. Nope. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It does have a face, but it's also a table. Look. Oh, but it doesn't have a little plus sign on it, so it actually cannot go on top of the... Uh... Okay. I move this up and then should I even have a table I 
Maybe we can go here, and the dresser could, like... I guess that's fine. I'm, I'm not doing a very good job of, like, finding all the different items. We have gyroids. Wait a minute. Do we have a robotic one? That would just keep you up all night. Um, is it in this category? No. Well, there's rugs. They're a robo rug. Doesn't look like it. Wall stuff. Are there there's the robo clock? Say it's pretty good. Any other interesting wall items? I'm just kind of like going by the book with this one. I'm putting whatever I assume the game wants me to put. We can hang clothing on the walls. Look at this sweet jacket. It doesn't have a face and hands. I don't find it relaxing. Table with snacks he can't eat? Yeah, sure. Um, let's see. That's clothing again. Here. The snack is going to be I guess one egg in the middle of a like a weird skillet looking thing, and we're gonna put it in the center of the table. Um, and he can't eat it because he's a robot, but also it's too far away for his little arms to reach. Pitch darkness, you can only see the eyes. Yeah, turning off the lights in here uh, does make it even better. Let's turn on the TV as well. It won't let me? That's a little disappointing. All right. You know how people are worried that smart technology these days has, like, cameras in it and it's watching you? Ribot's never worried about that. <laughs> Ribot doesn't feel comfortable unless all of his furniture has literal eyes. Look at his mouth. <laughs> He's so happy. I'm sorry. If you were a robot, though, would, wouldn't you want to... You're living in a house... Would you want robot furniture, or would you want it to feel more like, I don't know, would you want to change it up a little bit, I guess? Isn't it pretty cliche to assume a robot would want to live with robot furniture? <laughs> like doing laps. Look at him. Why don't New Horizons villagers click their heels? That's amazing. <laughs> Bashfulness. Did a great job. Remember what the boss said. Isabel's coming by tomorrow to talk about building a facility. Got a good feeling about that one. All right. I'm 
gosh. Hold on. Okay, my cat was gonna go in the window and then got nervous. Uh, you're in charge of facilities? That's fantastic. It puts me at ease knowing you'll be helping me with a new facility. To be honest, this is my very first official project since being put in charge of town development. I guess that means we're both beginners. Even better. On to business. We've been given clearance to put up a new facility in the area here. Take a quick look at the plan. Uh, we're going to get a school set up today. Pretty exciting, huh? Now, because the town hall is covering the cost, there will be a few basic requirements. Here's what we need to know. Main rooms, one classroom. <laughs> look manageable? Yeah, I guess. This is where we'll end up putting the school. Can we just see what it looks like? First though, we need to select a design for the school's exterior. I already narrowed it down to a few choices. Okay, let's see. That's not a lot of choices. Um, I like the green one. What will they learn from a single classroom? I guess we'll see. <laughs> this is perfect. This will be a school classroom. It's pretty big, huh? There's a few things the room absolutely must have, which I've marked on your clipboard. That may seem like a daunting task, but don't feel too intimidated. It'll be super simple, trust me. When looking at the clipboard, touch an item name to bring up a catalog. Of qualifying items, it's easy. One more thing. If you hold down L or R and touch an item you've placed, you'll place another of that item. Like, why did you wait until this moment to tell me that? Why could this part not have been in the tutorial? I've been wondering if we can copy items this entire time. So we hold L or R and then tap the item. Touch while holding L to copy piece of furniture. If you're right, if, if you're left-handed, R works too. Okay, this is massive. All right. Where is my clipboard, by the way? Is that this? Teacher's desk, four chairs, and four tables. Okay, that's easy. So, first things first, a teacher's desk. Do these count? What is this? Work table? That probably counts as one of the tables, but I don't want that. This must be the teacher's desk. Okay. So, teacher's desk. Why does it look... Why does it look like the school from Happy Home Paradise? Well, I mean, the same people did make the game. <laughs> so, four chairs, four tables. Okay. I know exactly what we're gonna do. Do we want these tables or do we want, let me see. Let's, let's do the work tables. Okay. That satisfies the four tables. Now we need chairs. School chairs work. This is fine. So we need at least four, but that doesn't mean we have to stop at four. Uh, 
Uh, this is a bit odd. Hold on. Okay, there, there. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure it's all evened out. Uh, I don't know if there's room resizing. It hasn't come up yet. It might be like Happy Home Paradise where they unlock it as time goes on. <laughs> okay, there's a, there's a lot more options in here than I um than I was expecting. Uh hold on. I'm going to want one of these, but I'm not going to say for what just yet. There's got to be a better... Oh, wow. Look at all this stuff. We got chalkboards... Whatever this is, lockers, a bucket. Okay. There's a specific item I'm looking for. I don't exactly know where it is. but I know it exists. It's got to be in here somewhere. What? Where is it? I I know it's here. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there it is. Perfect. And then, that's just in case. Can I highlight four items and then, it won't let me copy the whole cluster of items, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is this supposed to be a classroom? It kind of looks like an AA meeting in a TV show. Um, I guess you just have to use your imagination. Oh, there's a, one of the chairs not turned the right way. I mean, any room can be a classroom depending on if something's being taught or not. Sebastian <laughs> insulting me, telling me um, I'm wrong whenever I do something. That was a fun stream. I'm trying to decide if anything else should go in here. This is kind of what I was hoping, you know, just everything. Everything came together really well in this build, you know. I kind of got like the perfect amount of items and. We need a teacher, I guess. Or, at the very least, a... Uh... <laughs> it's just someone who hangs out in the corner. The substitute teacher, or, I don't know, teacher aide or something? This is so accurate, it reminds me of college. That college was shut down. <laughs> the old gyroids are pretty funny. This is... I don't know what else to do. How do you... How do you enhance perfection? Oh. Wait a minute. That's how. 
That's how. Yeah. How is everything? I'm finished. Wow, you're really all done? Excellent, let's take a look. School. They forgot the quotes around school. <laughs> sure. All the all the adults with like jobs are hanging out here. Oh my gosh, this is too much. <laughs> What's cooking? <laughs> the guinea pig adventures is here. The wall of hamsters on the back wall. And then you ask, what's cooking? It's kind of setting me up right there. <laughs> I think they're powering the school. That's how I like to think of that. Brings Ben, how's it going? Welcome back. Very first facility is now open. Everyone will be so thrilled to come and see the school in person. Uh, let's head back to the comms. I think we did a pretty good job on that school. Speaking of which, there'll be a little unveiling ceremony tomorrow morning to celebrate. I think you might stop by. I'll be there. Make everyone so happy, myself included. I bet some of your clients will be there too. When they see who worked on the new school, they'll be surprised. I think they'll be very surprised when they walk in to the school. I think the outside, they'll be like, oh, cool. Yeah, this is. I, I have expectations of what this is going to look like, and I can't wait to see it. Okay, do we... Oh, I get to go outside. Past clients just kind of hanging out. How'd you get out? I love the town, even if it's not huge quite yet. That makes me a true fan of the town. Okay. Your designs defy expectations. I like the way all of this looks right here, and I, I'm actually really upset that New Horizons never did anything similar to this. You know what I mean? Like, even if we don't get little tiny cliffs, that's fine, but paths that go at an angle with little borders around them, like, even Nintendo was using their tools, and they, they put down a path, and they're like, it kind of looks boring. It kind of needs like a little border around it and and everyone nintendo's like yeah you're right and so they they made this path and it looks awesome and then they had this little winding road here and they're like oh the path is is kind of like going at this weird 90 degree angle what if we had a path that goes diagonal and they're like we can do that yeah that's a great idea what if, what if we had the cliffs kind of at varying shapes and stuff oh Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, let's do that. And then New Horizons comes along, and that team, I guess, got laid off for something. And and now, it's like, oh my gosh. It, this, it, I think if I played this back in the day, this was the last Animal Crossing we got before um, New Horizons, if you forget about Pocket Camp, which is not even a game. Um I think you'd be pretty excited about the future of Animal Crossing if you saw this. Like, wow, look at these little details. Cold Logics, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm not trying to be salty or anything, but kind of hard to ignore. Fired for high dazzle risk. <laughs> Oh, 
We have 100,000 furniture items. New Horizons has lots of furniture items, but we don't have glass partitions, so... Good morning! I'm happy to see you! Let's head to the school's opening ceremony. Okay, half of the people here are not people I've ever interacted with. We're here to celebrate the opening of our town's new school. Should introduce myself first. I'm Isabel. I've been helping with town development. Of course, I couldn't do it on my own, which is where the lovely folks at Nook's Homes come in. I wanted to call attention to or one employee in particular. Without this person, nothing would have been completed. So thank you so much, Dan. That's me. We'd like to say a few words. Congrats to me. <laughs> they all clapped. And with that, I'd like to bring the ceremony to a close. They even have a path that is round. It like it literally goes in a circle. And buildings that are angled. I didn't even think of that. Look at the <laughs> Why are we going back in here? Oh my gosh, look at Lopez. Now that villagers are using it, the school feels so full of life. I bet the town, as the town develops, we'll get even more folks enrolling in school here. Education is very important. I should tell you, while I'm, in, while in a facility, you can see which villagers are in the building and what they're doing. You can also tap the cards to change which role each villager will play in that facility. Plus, you can use Animal Crossing Amiibos here to invite new villagers to the facility. I encourage you to try out all sorts of role combinations. Feels like a therapy group. It does. So yeah, you can click on different cards, I guess. Huh. Well, this is fine. I just wanted to see what that menu was like. The doll for the teacher. <laughs> um, great. Yeah, there's angled buildings in this game. And that would have been really cool. It would have been awesome to have these. In, you know. I can't believe the town development... It's finally underway. It took long enough. Isabel well called earlier and said she, things will go more smoothly with the building permits from now on. It looks like you're going to be busy. I wonder if anyone's going to come out with a game like Animal Crossing. There's a lot. Um, no one can quite do it like Nintendo, but the next one I think is that uh, Galactic Getaway. It's by the people who make who made Nookazon. They're making like a whole game now and it's heavily, heavily inspired by Animal Crossing. It's throwing me right into a, a client build. Uh, we know you like to buy a plot of land. What house do you want to build on it? I suppose I want a house that's, well, normal and uncomplicated. And I think about it, I really prefer to just let the professionals figure out the rest. Since I'm hoping to raise some kids, it would be nice to have equipment in the yard for a playground. A garden for kids to play in. Yeah, Hello Kitty game was similar. Uh, it was interesting. But still not quite there, you know what I mean? There's a certain quality. What is this? You want to raise kids. How about by a, the beach? Oh, wow. We can actually, like... I didn't realize this game had, like, outdoor editing. I hadn't gotten this far. Perfect. Perfect. 
I forgot what I was saying before. I got really put thrown off by that map. I thought it was just interiors. What makes a house normal? I know. This is my new home. Why, it's even prettier than it looked on the photo. So excited to see what you do with the place. You'll make both inside and outside look amazing, won't you? Before I forget, I've had a few things sent over I'd really like to use. Okay. They better be normal. While outside, tap the home to remodel the exterior of the house. Decorate the art of furniture. Cool. All right. Um, oh, we can change up the actual. Let's do that. A lot of options. That looks nice. Wow. There are so many exterior options. This is just wild. Look at this little, uh... <laughs> okay, that changes the vibe quite a bit. Patched door. Sturdy gray door. Oh, we got uh fence too. Wow. That's I like that fence. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know. These shanty uh vibes are are kind of speaking to me. Boy, they really went wild with the options here. This is way more than I was expecting. Barbed wire. You know, your kid sh probably shouldn't be running off, so I think that's good. Okay. How about a water slide? Can we put stuff in the water? There's a lot of little hashes in the tight... Like the hashes, um, little textures on the water. It almost looks like there's things we could put in the water. All right, since this is a beach, I think we use palms. And then maybe one right there. Have I played this game before? No, I, I never got this far. I got to the point where you make the school and I think I got, I got bored or something. Or I put it down, like, oh, I'll play later, and I never did. What is this? What is this? Some little pillow thing? Oh, you can move the house, too. Nice. Can you rotate the house? Oh, that'd be I would I would completely start raging. Can we put rugs outside? What? This whole time we didn't put rugs outside? We could put them under trees? Was this game even made by the same people? Are you serious? You know what, just for that, I'm gonna put a clothesline and all of your clothes are gonna get wet because of the rain. It was just rugs outside right there the whole time. Is this game modded? No, <laughs> this is vanilla. It's not modded, it's just extremely offensive. I'm trying to find other toys. Oh, okay, here's a sandbox, which is kind of ironic because we're in the sand already. I like this. Oh, that's huge. 
I would love this in uh, the current game. Oh my gosh. I don't. I want to use it for this because I have nowhere to put it. But that's that's pretty cool. Or wait. Oh, we can't go. If we put the tree here. I don't know. Just for fun. We had all this and they took it away. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's so messed up. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's right. She wants to raise like a lot of kids. Um, well, this seems pretty obvious then, doesn't it? I think the stroller. We should have like a, a little parking area for the strollers. Like shopping carts, you know? And then... You know, just... Uh, go ahead and fill out the space. Yeah. A few too many. Okay, there. I got rid of another one. Alright. And then... I'm assuming we'd probably want... Something to, like, feed them. They can only have one baby at a time. Well... Maybe they are um, adopting. Okay, so they have a fridge. They got some cribs. They got a couple strollers. I think this is ever. Oh, wait, it's not everything. Sorry, I forgot one. There's one more thing. Here, just for privacy sake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, oh, we could do a rug. That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> Glass. <laughs> this rug is really awesome, but not what I need. Hold on. Okay. That's, that's a good idea. Hold on. Oh, look at all the wall things we have now. How about just a clock in the middle of the back wall? So you're just counting the minutes till the kids finally grow up. How's that? And then wallpaper. Perfect. Floor. That looks nice. <laughs> calendar. Is there a calendar? Uh, and then... I don't know where they keep this. Is it, oh, it's in here. Right, right, right. There we go. Now it's perfect. A garden for kids to play in. <laughs> Knife rack. 
It's perfect. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I think this is kid friendly. Barbed wire, fire, and glass. <laughs> Design cool. Look, oh, she's cleaning up. I guess someone had to use the toilet. <laughs> Look at that garden. <laughs> oh, a garden for kids. I thought you said a garden of kids. A hospital room for newborn babies. <laughs> They do an outside tour too. That's enough. No, no, no. There's not much to see out there. <laughs> it's everything I was hoping for. Or do you mean hopping for? <laughs> Sorry. Distress. What an ironic emote for them. How did it go? Was it nice and professional? <laughs> did Carrie seem satisfied? Oh, yeah. My ears. Oh, sorry. Was that too loud? I'm distressed. Sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Can you design something that the client doesn't want or will the game let you? As long as you use the items that they want you to use, you can do whatever you want. It's been another late one today. Uh, right up your report. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, <laughs> I gotta be honest. I think, I think we did it. I think we knocked that out of the park. Um, so I'm going to call it there. What happens if you don't use the items they wanted? I think you can't complete it. It's kind of like New uh, New Horizons or, you know, Happy Home Paradise. Dear Diary, today I messed up this lady's life. <laughs> um, cool. So, yeah, I'm going to call it here. Uh, it's been an awesome weekend of streams. If you're a member, we did a, a Balatro stream yesterday. Uh, it's, like a, it's a game about cards it's like poker that's like the the base of it but you don't need to know anything about poker to enjoy it it's one of my new favorites and i'm not a fan of poker at all so uh if you are a member you can go check that out from yesterday it was a lot of fun and uh otherwise yeah look forward to some more streams i guess next week there'll be more paleo drops so i guess we'll do some twitch streaming for that that's, that was my plan um so you can follow me on twitch so you don't miss your paleo drops and uh yeah well, i will see you guys later that was fun um, that's it though. I'm done for now. So goodbye.